Hello, it's Kei, and I'm a pro trader as well as a Forex mentor based in Tokyo, Japan. Today's video is going to be about harami candlesticks, and I will be explaining some of the techniques I use when I see those harami engulfing candlesticks from some real chart examples, so that when you see it next time, you can also trade and hopefully to get some profit out of it. So if you like this topic already, please press the good button and also I will be keep uploading 3 more videos about price action trading strategies for the rest of this month of November. So if you don't want to miss the series of videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notification when I upload them. Alright, so here we go. So in this video, I'll be talking about harami candlestick pattern and how you can actually trade with it when you're actually looking at a chart. So like I explained on part 2, harami looks like this. It's like when you see a previous candle engulfing future candles. Actually harami means pregnant in Japanese. So the idea here is that it looks like a mother having a baby in her body. And that's why this pattern is also called inside like future candles are inside within the previous big candlestick. And when you see this harami pattern, it's a signal that there will be a range in the market. So when the market keeps going down and when you see harami pattern, that's an indication of the market to be in the range while the major trend is on bearish. In contrast, if you see the harami pattern when the market is on bullish trend, if you see the harami there, then it can also be an indication that a trend might be in a range after you confirm the second candle close. So you can expect that there might be less volatility in the market while it's on uptrend. Now, let me show you how you can increase the probability and accuracy to win profit when you see this harami next time. So let me share what's coming to my mind. When you see harami in the market, one thing I image is a tunnel on the highway. Like you're sitting on the top of the mountain looking down the highway and you can see the cars running. But there's a tunnel along the way and when the cars are into the tunnel, you cannot see what's happening inside until the cars are out from that tunnel, right? So harami is just like the tunnel that you never know what's gonna happen until the price comes out of that tunnel. For example, look at this chart. This is one hour chart on gold, but look at this right here. This one right here was on the 11th of November 2019, but if you take a closer look at it, you see it's a harami, right? This big bearish candle is engulfing a couple of future candles. And when you see this, first thing you have to do is you draw a line on the upper level and also a line down here and expect the price to be breaking towards either direction. And until then, expect that the market is going to be in a range for some time. In fact, on this chart, it's been consolidating for a couple of hours, right? And if you take a look at this pin bar, looks like it broke the line downwards, but it shooted back up. And this is when you can be more sure that the trend could reverse to the upside because there is some rejection here. And actually the price broke to the upside. So again, when you see a harami, First thing you can expect is that there is a possibility that the market is going to consolidate after this. And in this case, it could go downwards also. So if you see a lower time frame like 5 minute chart, and if you see a pullback, then you can place a sell by following the major bearish trend. However, if you take a look at this 5 minute chart, you can see that there's no pullbacks, right? You know, uh, the price just spiked down and up creating a pin bar in one hour time frame. So this is not really called a breakout, but this is just a fake setup as the momentum was too strong that you cannot just jump in and place a sell here. If there were some kind of pullback like this, you could, but in this case, there is no pullback. So basically, there was no sell chance in this particular case. And if you take a look at this one hour chart again, and if you take a look at here, there's another harami here, you see? And the market is going up after the break. So again, in this case, you can draw these lines on the top and the bottom of the candle and 
you just wait, you know, just wait until the breakout, then follow the direction towards the breakout. Now, here's a rule. When you look for harami, look for it in one hour time frame or above, because if you look at this five minute chart again, if you take a look at this five minute chart and if you look at the market, there are lots of harami, right? But you cannot trade with them because first of all, uh, there are less volatility in five minute chart than higher time frames like one hour or daily. So it's hard to get the trade chance unless you just stick with the chart the whole time. And second of all, the orders are not really accumulated based on the lower time frame charts because if you look at this harami right here in this 5 minute chart, for example, until it breaks the lower part of the candle, it took only like 6 candles in this 5 minute chart, right? In other words, that means it took only 30 minutes to break the range downwards, which is not really enough time to have orders accumulated on this level. So if you look at 1 hour chart and when you look for the breakout, how long did it take here? If you count the engulfing candles right here, uh, it took like 27 bars, meaning 27 hours to break it downwards here. And that means it tends to have more and more orders accumulated between above and below of this candlestick. And that's why when it breaks it out, it tends to move big. And also the momentum is going to be continuous. Ideally, you can look back the chart in daily or weekly chart on any pairs and look for harami in those time frames. And when you find it, focus on the breakout and look at its lower time frame where it breaks it out so that you can find an entry point at that time and next time you can be psychologically ready for it. And that way you can increase not only the accuracy of the trades, but also will have a better risk to reward the ratio every trade you execute. So again, look for the harami in bigger time frame chart first. And when you see the current candle is within the harami, better not to trade it, but wait and prepare for its breakout. All right, thank you for watching until the end. Now, if you have any questions, just feel free to write your comments below so that I can take a look and reply later. Or you can come to my live streaming that I'm doing on every Tuesday and Friday and share me your thoughts. On the next one, part six, I'll be talking about the wave patterns and how you can trade profitably by analyzing the wave patterns. And also, this is one of the frequently asked questions, but I will also be talking about how I study from the past charts on the next video so that you will be sure which direction to trade. So if you don't want to miss the next one, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you receive a notification when it's uploaded on this Thursday. And if you like today's video, kindly press a good button too. All right, thank you for your support as always, and I wish your trade success. Stay gold. Cheers.